Welcome, welcome everyone to our ooh, Wednesday, Work It Wednesday call. It just appeared really big. <laughs> um, welcome to our call. It's Wednesday. Yay. Is it the last Wednesday of the month? Yes. It sure is. All right. Well, hopefully this call will bring some PRV in within the next couple of days. So your PRV will increase for this month. Um, today's topic, we're just going to go right into it because we do not have any announcements unless anyone knows of anything, go check. I mean, you could check the type it in, in the chat. If not, we all know we are big girls. We know where to go. News tab on the workstation. Um, but today's call is about party links. Um, links will actually increase your PRV. So if you are struggling with PRV, we need to get the word links in our head because party links could be our employees. Just like little basket parties working out there, links could actually be your employees and working for you. Uh, links will also help you grow your team. Um, top recruiter this in the whole group this month is Jessica. There's been a couple who've recruited one or two. Um, Jessica has four. There's been a couple reinstates. So as a group, we're struggling in recruiting. And if you are not partying, guess what? You're not going to grow your team because that is the only way to really grow your team is by parties, um, flipping the parties and having party links of any, any sorts of party. But right now with COVID or just our busy schedules, I know when COVID is done, I don't think I'm going to go back into home parties. Home parties were was my jam. Like I was a queen at home parties. And I don't have the time to go into someone's house and be there an hour or two to do a whole party, even though they were so fun to me. Right now, my life is a little bit hectic with, you know, little kids. And I just can't, if I'm going to take off away from my kids, I'd rather go and party a different way. <laughs> So party links is the is the way to party right now. Um, you don't have to have inventory. You don't have to meet them in person. And guess what? You really won't even have to do that many deliveries because if they're ordering from a party link, it's going directly to them. The only thing you'll have to do is maybe send them happy mail, send them a thank you packet. That's easy. I know right now where I am in my business, again, I'm super busy. We were actually talking about this on the leaders call on Monday, trying to see how we could change from taking so much time to delivering our orders to where customers either get a direct ship to them or we do porch pickup because right now my time is very valuable. Like I need, I need all the time I could get with for myself or for my family uh, or to work my business here at home. So Party links is the way to do if you um, don't want to waste. And gas, guys, gas prices is going up. Literally, I'm filling up my tank every two days, $40 as much as I drive. So delivering 30 minutes here and 30 minutes to this house and another 20 minute drive to this house, that's gas, right? So having party links, they, they uh, order from that link, it ships directly to them. The only thing you'll have to do is spend a couple, two or $3 to ship them a thank you packet easy peasy. Um, so there's many types of links that we could create and be creative when you create links. Today, I made three party links, hoping to, to have them join, right? But I didn't even give them or ask them. I said, here is your, let me actually read the message that I wrote today. Uh, we had our opportunity call last Wednesday, correct? So I was following up with them today. And um, she said, Lucy, tell me more how the business works today, right? I said, okay, girl. I said, here, here is your shopping link. Start off sending this link to your friends and family. And as they order, it will go towards you. So when you decide to join this month, I will make sure these orders are under you and you get paid for them. And it's kind of like a head start. So I didn't voice message her and told her the reason why it's a head start, because when you join, you already have orders to be placed under you. 
and you know it's easy peasy you'll get to that 500 before your your 15th day and you'll get that kit for free so i had to voice text that just because if it's a lot of writing to me i'm not a reader so i won't read it all kind of just scroll through it but if i'm listening to someone tell me that and and the excitement and and the voice then i'm like okay all for it so i sent her a, a link and she's like okay cool thanks i'm working on it so I didn't even give her a, an option to tell me no. I sent her that link before she even knew what was going on. <laughs> and then I kind of explained how that works. Um, I'm sorry, hold on one second. Um, so party links, again, the way to go. Be creative when you think of that. Um, Debbie Pitts Palmer had a, a training not too long ago on, on um, one of the groups. And she actually brought this up in that training. And I was like, wow. So how many people do you know on Facebook? Um, you know, well, how many people do you kind of see and tell on a daily when it alerts you that it's somebody's birthday? What do you do? Do you go and post on their page and say happy birthday? or private message them and say happy birthday because Facebook lets you know those things, right? Well, she mentioned on there that she creates a birthday link and she sends them a link, right? I don't know exactly what she said, but in my mind, this is what, what clicked and this is what I'm gonna start doing. So I'm gonna create them the birthday link before even messaging them, right? So I'm gonna go to my workstation, create the link, then I'm going to go over and be like, happy birthday, girl. It's your day. Hope you enjoy. Here is your own birthday link that you could shop from and share with friends and family so you could claim your free birthday rewards, free and half price items. Because like what happens when it's your birthday month? And I know Marissa's huge at this because she's giving me a lot of uh, stores to do um, to shop at on my birthday month they give you like for your birthday month they'll send you an email and they'll say 50% off on your birthday month Kendra Scott 50% off when you stop at Kendra Scott if it's your birthday month if it's your Starbucks 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 has some other re birthday reward program um I don't know Marissa could list, list them all <laughs> I just go to Kendra Scott. Um, but see, that's my thing. Like they're getting us into their store or their shop to shop, right? So on their birthday, you need to bring them to your link to shop. So create them a birthday link. Um, so I thought that was really cool. Um, another thing she mentioned was having links for like fundraiser links. Um, you could have, like she had um, different different fundraisers. I will post her video on there because she had diff she's like the link queen right now. But I took away the, the happy birthday link, um, fundraiser links. Um, and another thing I was going to say when the, fun, when the happy birthday link um, came to mind, you know, when you're online and you order a product, what happens? They ask for you, your email address, right? Then after you purchase whatever you purchase, a couple minutes later, there's a notification in your email from that company stating, here is your discount code for, or, or they'll say next time you purchase, here's a 20% coupon or coupon code or whatever the fact, right? So it, why don't we hit these customers up that order off of our PWS or just in general, if we have orders period from any customer, why don't we thank them for their order and also have a party link attached to that thank you and say, thank you for shopping with me. Here is your, I don't know how could, whatever we can name it. What did I put on here? I said, what? Um, here is your party link for the rest of this month and in parentheses could put, put expires August 1st, basically, or August 30th, you know what I mean? Um, basically, you know, giving them the whole month to shop 
because they placed an order from you. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's what I was going to say, your monthly rewards link. Yeah, like, and, and you could actually, their code is actually, you could put some kind of, I don't know, what a code, a party code. No, don't use the word party because that's the whole thing about links is you want to leave the word party out of it. So maybe you could just thank you for your order or something, party link. Not a party, <laughs> keep saying party link. Your link, you, you see what I'm saying? You're sending them the link. To me, it's a party link in my head, but that's not what I'm going to tell them. It's the link. Um, so that's that. Um, even when you go shop in stores in person, Walgreens, Abercrombie, all these other stores, they'll ask you at the register, type in your email. Like there's so many different reward programs that we're signing up for when we enter our email and these things and we don't even know check out my email i have like six thousand emails a day because it's all these stores you know that i go to um so when someone else shop when they shop just in person again here's what i have for you you could even send them thank you packets and create them a party link and put it in one of your paperwork to send them. And it's not party, it's a link. Create them a link to send them and say shop from there. Um, remember, always keep that word party out of it. So I wanted to show you, I know there's probably a couple new folks on here and you're like, what the heck is a party link? Let me just go down to basics really, really quick. Oh, I need to share my screen first, don't I? <laughs> Hold on. Um, is it gonna let me share? Share screen. It should, because sharing, you should have sharing capability. Why does it say desktop? It's telling me to go, oh, maybe because I've never um, shared from this computer before, I have to go get permission. Mm. Mm. That was, I mean, I don't think so. Cause you logged on to Zoom before you should be able to. It's not, I'm not gonna be able to. <laughs> Um, real quick, I'm going to answer some questions while you're figuring that out, if you can. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry, Kim, Xavier, not talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking to Peyton, but actually it's Kim. <laughs> um, okay, so um, I was asking, you had said, do we have a party link or add to post or send out? I wasn't real sure what you meant by that. I think I do, but I wanted to make sure that's what that was my question. Um, I'm thinking a sticker I can put on envelopes going out with the harvest brochure. So, um, Marissa shared with us the other day, a really good thing she's doing. She's putting a QR code on her. She didn't even have the harvest brochures, but she put a QR code on what Marissa? I just printed the front of the harvest brochure. There you and go. I, yeah, I printed the front of the harvest brochure. And I just put a sticker on there with my QR code and said if September harvest, I put like September one is a harvest and nightmare before Christmas release. If you want to see a full digital catalog, scan here. Okay. I don't know if that was your question, but that I know Marissa did that with her harvest brochure. I just wasn't sure because I know she said she didn't have them and she did something. So um, for anybody who doesn't have them, that's something that you can do. I have them and I'm sending them out with like some samples, mm -hmm. but I was thinking on, especially because I already have them done, but um, putting a sticker maybe on the back or something that has, you know, contact me for your own shop for your private shop, ah, something like that. Uh, if anyone has gotcha. something cute. Cute. That's a good, yeah. I can try it. to do one in Canva. I can do one in Canva and share okay. it. 
Does that make uh, sense? Like put the right wording and stuff like that. Like, um, I don't even have now. anything on any type of sticker like that. And I probably should. <laughs> Is Lindsay on? Yeah, she's trying to figure out her screen sharing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, because Lindsay made one with the harvest on it, on Canva, so we could adjust it. it had, I think it had pictures and stuff on it, but yeah. So it's not letting me, because it's telling me I have to crap. What were you trying to do, Lucy? Share my screen. To, to do what? Um, cause I just wanted to show the party patch, uh, party pack. Oh, and well, I wanted to show them how to create a link on the workstation. Oh, party you want to go in there? Sure. Let's see. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, <clears throat> Okay, so obviously this is your workstation. Um, if you go to orders, you're going to um, create a party. Um, name it whatever you want. I can't spell. Um, and you can, obviously, if you have a host, you want to put the host. If not, then you put yourself. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't fill none of this out. If you want to, you can. <laughs> but again, um, let it go out to whatever, whenever your closing date is going to be. And then you hit continue. This link then becomes your shopping link, like Lucy's talking about. You're going to copy that link and that link you're going to give to the person that you're trying to give a shopping link to. And that is their specific link. So when they click that link, it's going to go already directly into their party. So for anybody that's new and doesn't understand, that is how you create any link. A link equals a party, y'all. And let me tell you, you can have as many as you want. I have three on here now. You can have 20 if you want. There's no limit. So just keep that in mind. No, let me stop this. That, and I was just going to add, you can always, like, just because, like, say the party link ends tomorrow and it's only at $180, you can go change the end date for a few extra days or an extra week. Don't think, <laughs> I, I've, <clears throat> I'm only saying that is because a lot of people think, oh, no, I set the party to end on the 26th and it's going to end. You can you can edit the party date just for those that don't know. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> yes, you can edit all kinds of stuff in there. So in the beginning, if you are the host and then you find someone that wants to take a kit, you can go edit the host. You can edit anything on that party. So just keep that in mind. Sorry, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. So what I also wanted to show you guys, why do I look crazy? Hold on, because I have two computers on here, sorry. <laughs> okay. So what I also wanted to show you guys, and I'm on my laptop, so now I could share. I don't have to go fix that. Is on Canva. If you are Canva queens or you're still learning how to do Canva, another thing, a way you could share your links, your customers' links, um, is through Canva. You could create and design this. Let me go back to it. And let me just show you how I added, where did it go? All the links, the hyperlinks to all the images because Anytime they shop anywhere, it'll take them to her link, her shopping link. So here for an example, this is her shopping link, okay? Um, anytime she clicks on any of these, 
I put it in there three times. So as they're viewing this and anywhere they click, it'll take them to her shopping link. So the join us for the fun will take them, the shopping link will take them and shop my party will take them. Um, the samples, want samples, here is where they're gonna go to get party packs. Um, or pouch parties. I keep saying party packs because when we did the Facebook parties, we would use party packs. And so Jessica, Marissa were trying to explain this to me last week and I was like, huh, what? But now it makes total sense. So any, if you are having that uh, shopping link for your hostess, let them know that if they share this with their friends and family, they could also get a party pack mailed to them. And that's why I said want samples because you will have some samples in your party pack. Um, your main thing is you could either be simple and if you don't want to spend that much money on, on mailing, mailing out, you can make the sticker ones of the 10 new cents. Or like Jessica shared with you guys two calls ago on the samples when she did all the 10 cents in felt, and put them in a plastic bag all together and they're all labeled, you could do that, right? Um, you could put dish soap, you could put washer whips, um, catalog, the sit and warmer of the month, some candy, some confetti, make it look cute. Um, Lucy, are you showing us your party pack? I am. We can't see because you're sharing your screen. Sure, okay, I'll go back to that. But so that, in your party pack, that's how you get people to click on that link, fill that out, which I'll click on it again, and it's on job form. So if you are not familiar with job form, you can have it up to uh, have up to five different links for free on job form, or you could get the paid version. Uh, this is actually very easy to work. Like you could copy the link that we have, and you could um, is it called mock to make it their own? Um, they can import it to, can, um yeah copy it you could import it and make it your own and change it to to your information like your name on there your um i have like my wax boss me my vip at the bottom um so you could change that to your own so you could create that here is what is because think about it here's the thing if you are a rock star at links, right? And you have like more than three or more than four and you just feel like you cannot keep up. You could also make a, um, a Canva, something like this. And it has all your hostesses names and shopping links. Like when you click on it, you could, um, what is it called? Is it hyperlinks? You could put their copy and paste the website of their part of their party link into that. And I'll kind of show you how to do that as well. Um, that way you could put it on your VIP group, right? And if any of those customers, you could have them view, like pin it to the top and all your hostesses will be, uh, their party links will be on there. So if anyone in your VIP group wants to party off of one of their links, guess what? You're still getting PRV for it. It doesn't matter whose party is it. Um, and with that being said, always make sure you have one or two personal links on there as well of yours, because you also as a consultant want to earn free and half price items as well, right? So let me go and show you how to um, just walk you through the hyperlinks on how to put that on the Canva. So again, this one, say you want to put her the website her party link on here you'll click on this link you'll copy and paste and you paste it in there and you just click apply same for party packs you'll go and you'll click that party um, pack pouch party link put it on here click these three little dots click that hyperlink paste that link there and apply simple and you could keep this and just change out your this just makes it fun. Jessica created this last year when she was doing her parties and and she would have Facebook groups for it. This is just all links and the pouch party link. 
that's it. I also have the fall catalog um, in here too. So when they go to that, they'll go to the catalog. And that's just basically all it has. Well, I need to change that, but you see it, that's all it has. It's super simple, not that many there. It's not too busy, but it's fun. You want to also make it fun. Um, but as I was saying on the pouch, let me stop sharing so I can show you what's in my party packs. Can you see me now? No. I'm not the main one. I'm just the other one. That's why. Okay. You're muted. <laughs> but there we go. There My we go. bad. It was showing the other one. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that's not me. <laughs> and it's me. Um, so again, you could purchase these off um Amazon. We have the links everywhere if you need one. We'll um post it below. But I just have the warmer of the month brochure with the sample. Um, whatever promo um opportunity promotion that we have that month. Place that in there, of course. You can make felt samples, um, or you could do the paper one, just depending on your budget. Um, so I have that. I have some washer whips, some dish soap, some candy. Um, I had cute confetti in there, already took everything out. Um, have my catalog, had my favorite uh, fall winter products on here. Um, and you can make it your own. You can put whatever else you want in there. But the whole point is you're collecting their information to mail this off, off the pouch parties. Um, Marissa has a very successful link going on right now with one of her lash ladies. And she created a QR code and the lady has it. Did I hang up on you guys? Hold on. The lady has it in her business, the QR code. And so as the um, clients come in to do their lashes she's having them scan that code and it takes them directly to the pouch party and marissa is going to then mail these out so that is her party so there's different like link parties you could do and of course she has her uh shopping link that she's sharing with her friends and family as well um so qr codes is awesome too to get party packs to do different things like that um scan the qr code and then you could connect the job form to that so they could fill that out and you send your pack. Um, if you have a VIP group, um, there's this one consultant that she's playing this game and I wanted to share because I was like, I'm going to start that. It's called Battle of the Hostess. So what she's doing is she's having multiple hostess in her VIP. Of course, she's asking who wants to to be a host who wants to have their own party link. And what she's doing is kind of making it a game of who has more orders coming in from their party links. Um, she's having them screenshot and she's actually screenshotting the numbers as well. Um, under that, she just gives them, you know, prizes of what she could give them, what she has in stock. It could be whatever, right? Um, but there was this one lady who had over y'all, she had $1,500 in sales. So what she did was open one party and she had a couple mm -hmm. hostess in her VIP group. She did divide the rewards out within those that brought in orders, of course. And she split that up with them. And this only is for people that are local. Um, so that's what she did they all shared that one link everywhere and getting orders from everyone they then had to screenshot if it was their people placing orders from that link so that's how she could keep um track of who placed orders under what hostess makes sense so she had a fifteen hundred dollar party because of that in one month doing that battle of the hostess I am actually going to screenshot, <laughs> I mean, share that photo so I could share it to our team pages and we could do that. And she stayed within compliance about it. So it was not out of compliance. 
um, they were all shopping from that shopping link. So um, I thought that was a good idea on that link. Again, being creative with the whole link stuff, it's what's gonna bring us PRV. And it's not really that hard because we really don't have to do much but create a link, you know? It's not like we have to get dressed and go do this whole presentation. The link's working for us. Um, so with also the VIP stuff, there is um, another consultant who has like four, four hostess right now in her VIP group. And she has this pennant to the top. Example, Patty's link. So then it has her shopping link. And it, and it lists what's on her wish list. Example, party's favorites. She loves the diffusers, loves lavender, uh, lemon lavender rain oil, loves wa her, the wall fan diffusers, and she wants all the pods for it. I mean, she wants all the pods for her um, wall fan diffusers. So the link's being shared and what's on her wish list is being shared of what she wants for her free and half price items. Ashley's link. The link is being shared and it says Ashley's favorites. If it's Disney, Ashley wants it all. So basically they have their wish list and their link. So whoever's on your VIP group and she's having them invite 20 to 50 people to the VIP group. So then whoever's in that group, this, if they're their people, they'll shop from their party link. If they're just people or customers on your um, VIP, they're still your, your customers. So no matter whose link they choose to, to order from, you're still getting PRV and they're your customers. So I thought that that was pretty cool. And she creates um, link tree. She has a, a link tree, the free version. And she, um, if you go to like one of our Instagrams, you'll know what link tree is if you don't know, cause I mean, I could share, but she has all their links linked on there with their names. And I was like, that's genius. But again, Canva could be the same thing. Just what I showed you on the party link that I had for Tanya. She, you could just write Patty's link, shopping link, Ashley's shopping link, and they could then click on that. So that's just being a little extra. Um, but all that's going on in your VIP. So party links could be placed anywhere and everywhere and get you some PRV, get you some sales. So I know I was a little bit everywhere and I hate that I could not share my screen because I had all this other stuff I wanted to share. Well, just the link tree stuff, but um, any questions? Yes, Anna, you can share the event link through Canva. Yes. We will share that. Um, There's no other questions in the chat right now. But. Having the hostess on one, all on one. Um, I did that last year um, in Linktree though. Um, it was a lot. It was, I mean, Canva is extra, um, but uh, Linktree, that's the way I did it. It was super simple, super easy. And, you know, if, if you don't have, I don't know, with the free version of Canva, can you do that? Uh, the links like that? Does somebody have the free one? Can you do the links like that in free? I don't know. Cause I've I have the I've always had the paid one, so I didn't I, that I don't know. I've I seen a I've seen a training on it uh, through the monthly movement, and they said you could. You could, okay. Jessica, are you talking about like adding your website into your Canva? No. Uh, um. No. Well. It's adding links to make it clickable, like a yes. website view. You can do it in the free one. I okay. did it with the free one. Um, I just recently upgraded, but yes, you can um, add it on there. So here's the girl that I told you did it on Linktree. So she put all her hostess shopping links on here 
and she just shared it that way. That's the way I did mine. I feel like it's, I mean, if you want a simpler way, that's a little bit easier. If you know Canva and you already have it, then yeah, Canva can do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. It's just sometimes when, when they're not like us and know about all of this, all the things, they might not know where to click on Canva because where did I put my other one? The copy. Yeah. Um, because it's just, it, it's so busy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that when you do it on Linktree or you, you could even make the Canva be as simple as possible as just their name and then yeah. their link. Um, because if it's so busy like this, they're not really going to know where to click sometimes if they're not computer savvy. Just That's like, what I had so many people last year when I did these, they were like, okay, where do I click to get the party pack? I was like, where it says click to get pack. the party pack. Yeah. <laughs> but they just still didn't like comprehend it. Because in your head, if you're not computer savvy, you, you yeah. are, you just automatically know that a link is how a link looks like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like it's a link. <laughs> And they don't see that on there. So they're just probably like, uh, but yeah. Okay. I have a super dumb question. Okay. You, you know, whenever you're making Canva and you download it, right. And it saves to like your pictures or whatever to your phone mm -hmm. that, that then becomes not able to be clicked on. Does that make sense? Right. You have to save it as a PD. F. It's a PDF, yeah. And well, it depends what you're trying to save. What are you trying to save? So, like, let's just say I downloaded it from my phone and I'm texting that out. People can't click on that because it then becomes a photo, right? You have to make sure you choose because you could choose how you want to download it on your phone too. You can choose oh. to download it as a video. You can choose to download it. Like, Lucy, go back to your, you have your camera pulled up? I just exit out, but I could pull it up. Uh, Lupe, I just made one for Tracy's party that's going on right now. And um, on the free version, I'm sure you can do it on the, you know, the one you pay for as well. But um, you have to do it as a PDF print and it does the media to your drive. That's how Tracy's flyer went out. It, it told me to do PDF print. Like even like a lot of people always ask me the animated um, ones that I do in my stories. You can download them as videos right to your, even on your phone, because I download them on my phone. Um, and you can make anything animated. You just have to choose how you're going to download it when you download it. So when yeah, you right. download it, you'll, when, can you see the screen? Yeah. It's okay. a yes. So here's the file type. It has that's to where be. where you change it. This, yeah, that's where you change it. And even on your phone, you, it gives you that option. Yeah. And it has to be PDF. Well, this okay. one, this one won't be PDF. This one will be the, what is it called? You got to scroll all the way down. It's, it's oh, called yeah. website. Cause I yeah. was like, oops, I've been doing it wrong. Don't you have to do this one on website? Yeah. You have to do that one as the website. That one's not on here, right? Yeah, it should be. It'll be way at the bottom of there. Yeah, why is it not letting you scroll? I'm on my laptop. Remember, the mouse don't work. <laughs> oh, okay. I was, but it's like, um, yeah, it's a website. Um, There's links on, attached to here. Yeah, because if not, it'll download this as a picture and the links won't work. They won't be able to click on it. Okay. All right. Cool. I just learned something new. Any other questions? And Lupe, it's website, and then it says how to, there's a scrolling option. Yeah, you want to choose scrolling because that's- Yeah, you want to choose scrolling. The best viewing. Thank you. Yay, uh, Vanessa sent me this private, but I'm going to read it. She said, um, 
Girl, I just text both of my sisters to do a hostess battle. They're both very competitive and always try to one up on each other. <laughs> they both accept it and are ready to take each other to <laughs> ready to take down each other. Just book two parties. These Wednesday calls are the bomb. <laughs> okay, so that's what I was gonna end with. Even though we have to sit, uh, do another challenge, I was gonna end with right now. Next ten minutes, pull out your phone and book you some party links. Um, an example um, to say, words to say, it's one that I was going to type up is, hey, girl, I have a super easy way that you could get some free and half price Cincy. Here's your personal shopping link. All you have to do is share it with your friends and family. What do you think? So go make the personal shopping link first, then send it to them. Okay, 10 minutes. Let's do it. A booking blitz. The key is think of who you're going to message first. Go to your workstation and create a, a personal shopping link real quick in their name. Vanessa, what did you tell your sisters? Like, how did you tell them in the message? Um, I said, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. I said, ladies, when I think of the people who really support me with Cincy, it's you too. And then I even put like the boxing gloves like uh, emoji oh because i know that will pump them up yeah. i said i want to have a battle of the hostess between you two yep that's right it's a competition and to see who gets the most orders from now to the end of august i say i totally want to see the battle go down and i want you to send you a link and all you have to do is share i know you guys are down you're always up for a challenge are y'all ready and they both said yes like at the same time love, love it. it so all you got to do is send them their links Love it. Is anybody struggling with what to say? Because I don't want you to get um uh what is it called? Um paralyzed and not do anything <laughs> because you don't know what to say. Say that you don't know what to say. Say you don't know who to send it to so we can help you. Like if you had anybody who ordered today or you have a pending order for that's a great place to start like if you have somebody who you have an order who just gave you an order or you're waiting for an order tell them hey this is your link do you, you know are you willing to want to um i mean you can choose to add that to that link um if they want lucy say it again say what again patty the the wording because y'all know me the wording for what the booking uh personal shopping link what you said because you didn't i didn't i like the way that lucy said it because she didn't give them an option she's just sending it to them yeah so i didn't give them an option and the thing is at the end ask them a question so like i said what do you think so here's what i'm sending to this girl hey girl i have this super easy way to help you get some free and half price Cincy. Here's your personal shopping link. Give her this link. All you have to do is sh share it with your friends and family. What do you think? If she says no, then I'm gonna go back to my workstation, change that link's name to someone else's and move on to the next. You said, hey, girl, I have a super easy way to help you earn some free and half off Scentsy. What else? Here is your personal shopping link. All you have to do is share with your friends and family. What do you think? And I was gonna say, um, if you need to make a to make a connection with them, you can actually add on there. Um, hey, girl, I thought of you because I know you like all things that smell good. I have a super easy way for you to 
something like that too just to make a connection like if you haven't talked to them for a minute or i don't know you know what i mean make that contact I just put that in the um in the chat okay um let me see i have my my frequent text that i had i have my text frequent text so let me tell you this is what i used to tell everybody last year when i booked a hell of a lot of orders when i was trying to get a party and but it was for someone who already had like i had already taken an order for um and this is what i said like i was taking their order going back and forth getting their order and this is what i would tell them Girl, that order is going to be bomb. But let me ask you something. Have you ever thought about having yourself an online scent event so you can get $75 free and three half price items? Then I wait to see what they would say. Um, and then when they nine times out of 10, oh, really? How do I do that? Here's your link. Start sharing it. So anybody that would already like la what I did last year is every single one, and we've trained about this before. Every single order you get, if you're trying to really party, every single order you get, you should not take even a six pack of bars, a $30 order. You should come back with that to try to make it a party link. Um, so that's just. That's what I would say for someone who I was taking an order from. And just know that if you come across with someone who wants to order a warmer or wants to order a six pack, but doesn't have the extra money to do that, create them a party link and tell them how you could help them get that um, for free or half price. Um, so even someone who purchases a lot for themselves, like for their own stuff, and you've already offered the opportunity so many times and they just want to stay a customer, that's okay. Create them a party, an ongoing party link, literally ongoing party link. You know, you could have those party links up to 90 days open and they could keep collecting orders and shopping from their own personal party link. And when they're ready to... Uh, well, before 90 days, don't wait 90 days because if you do, then they lose it all. Um, you could go in there and redeem and close the party out so they could get all that free and half price Cincy. Just saying, they could earn all the rewards. Can you imagine doing that to one to a couple of your favorite customers or even just your regular customers? They will then be your VIP customers. Like they will not go with anybody else because you're taking care of them in that way. And there's this other app that um, I learned about at work. <laughs> it's called, most of you probably know of your Google freaks google keep it's kind of like notes on your phone and different scripts that you come across like the ones that jessica shared that i shared marissa shared or just different links that you could just sometimes sit there and you don't have nothing to do and you're watching tv creative ways that you can do booking blitz on your own and get some links working for you um and post them on your notes tab on your phone or get that um at google keep and keep them all in there and you could title it links party links shopping links um and post different uh sayings or whatever <laughs> so you'll know you could copy and paste change it up a little each time and send it out and if you are techie if you're techie there's an app called boards since he has a group with consultants Literally, it's an extra keyboard that you can add on your phone and you can title it hosting and everything that we you everything you have saved there. All you do is type host and it automatically populates all of that information and you hit send. <laughs> like all these things help us work smarter, not harder. <laughs> and that's uh, what what app, Crystal? Um, the Google, Google, what did you say? Keep? 
Google Keep, like Keep. Google. Keep. K E E P. Yeah, Google Keep was what Lucy said, and boards is what I said. So Google Keep is kind of like your notepad on your phone. Um, however, you could create different folders, and like one you could label um, scripts, party scripts, or shopping link scripts, or whatever, and you could have your different folders. So I have a question. It might be a dumb one, but um, how, how does shipping work with like the party link? Say like, is it just one certain amount for any amount being purchased? Or what if a customer orders $200 worth of stuff or over $200? Will they get free shipping or will the shipping uh, change or something like that with the party links? Shipping question. Anyone want to answer that? I mean, because I haven't done party links for like people to go directly to it to order. I just like collect the orders, have my own party open and put it in through there through a hostess. And, you know, over a certain amount, it's free shipping for everything or, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, what, I can what's ask. What's the question? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Kim. I was asked. I missed the question. Oh, um, she wanted to know how shipping works for each person that orders um through the party because she's only done her own party so, so <laughs> go ahead <laughs> so this is, okay so when you're doing a party like this you have to understand that everybody is gonna have to pay shipping it's just what it is now everybody you open the party link right the party link is open today people can start ordering from that party today, right? So let's say I open a link. Lucy's my host. I send the link to Lucy. Lucy orders right now. She's so excited and she orders $150. But um, she has to pay shipping for that. Um, and then it, but it gets sent immediately. You don't have to wait for the party to close to get your order. Her order gets shipped to her doorstep immediately, right? Now, um, and basically collect opening that shopping link is going to be a, a catch all bucket and everybody that's ordering those hostess rewards are, are rising, right? As everybody is ordering and ordering, but understand that for a party, there can only be one free shipping address when it's 500, when it's 200, it don't matter if five people ordered, if it's still 200, you still, when you go close it, you got to pay shipping. Um, you're only going to get free shipping at $500, but it will only go ship to one address for free. So if five people order, you get that party to 500. When you go into your workstation and you close that free shipping will go to one address, which would more than likely be yours. And you have all that sent to your house, but all their orders are going to go to them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, let me say this, because a lot of people get confused because it is in the writing if you go read it. If you're a reader and you go read, I was the one that's like, what does this mean? Now, if I go to my website right now and I place a $200 order, I can get free shipping, but it cannot be attached to a party. So that's what I'm saying. If you got to throw that out, out the out the water when it comes to parties you just need to make sure that they understand they will be paying shipping and when you go to close it if it is five hundred dollars you're going to get free shipping for all the free the half price and any orders that you put in on the back end um but again if it's not and it's 200 or more you'll have to pay the shipping until you unless you're at 500 Okay, thank you. Man, and those online orders are bomb, y'all, because you don't got to do nothing. <laughs> they go directly to them. Anybody else have any other questions? 
So we were just talking about this shipping the other day. I don't know where we talked about this at. But Peyton says minimum $8. But for everybody else, because I was kind of like, what? I even said it to myself. What's wrong with me? Why am I paying $20 for a $200 order? Duh. So the minimum is $8. I may have missed it, y'all. I may have said it. Um, the minimum is $8, but it's always going to be that, what, 20%, right? Mm-hmm. Of the weight. So $79 and more is going to be higher than $8. Hey, Lucy, um, I had to step out um, earlier when you first started and you were talking about something about a, a birthday link. I missed part of that. Can you? Yeah, so me, birthday link. that, please? Um, so birthday link. So on Facebook, you know how they always let you know whose birthday is today? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a big, like, I like to go to their page and put happy birthday um, however, with the party links, you could private message them and um, before you message them, create them a party link, a birthday link, and you could title it, it's your birthday or your birthday shopping link um, and message them and just say something like, happy birthday, it's your day, so enjoy it. Here's your own birthday link to shop and you could also share with friends and family so you could claim your free birthday rewards, free and half price birthday rewards. Cool. Okay. I like that idea. I'm going to try that. Thank you. You're welcome. And have a, have an expiration date. Like if their month, their birthday is in August, you know, in parentheses says expires August 30th. Oh, okay. So they're, I'll get it. Okay. They're just, yeah, their birthday month. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Any other questions? So who got parties booked? Post in the comments or Vanessa, I know you got two. Anybody else? I have a shopping link. I got a, a order called in. I hadn't put it in yet. So um I created her a link and going to do a party from her order that she's ordering. Yay. So hopefully it will turn into more. Way to go. I'm telling um, you, I actually got two more just now. Way to go, Vanessa. Got a couple sent out, but no, but someone who had a $31 order. Yay. Awesome. Elba said to me, way yay. to go, guys. Amanda said, I'm waiting on some responses. Same. So, okay. So that is enough of party links. If you have any questions on that, of course, you could always answer, uh, ask anytime. Um, who is going to go over our challenge that we are going to start tomorrow? Jessica does it very well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I think I saved it on my computer. Let me see. Um, if not, I'll open up Canva. Okay. So um, this was something that I had seen um, another um, bomb consultant that I follow that is really, really, she's awesome with Instagram. So I follow her and um, she had, I had been seeing her posts and her stories about this. And I was like, man, I want to do something like that, but I want to do it with my team because there's only so much I can do one, one person. So I started telling Lucy and telling Marissa and the girls on our leader chat. And um, so she was doing frontline workers. Um, and we kind of went back and forth and we thought, how do we want to do it? Um, and Lucy brought the, Lucy works in a school, if you guys don't know that, but she brought that up as far as <laughs> the teachers. 
Um, you know, it's, it's a trying time for a lot of teachers. It's crazy. Um, as we know the world we're in right now. Um, and so we thought that that, that was our choice. That was our choice. Cause we were picking, should we do frontline workers or should we do, um, teachers? So we went ahead and went with teachers and what she is doing, she did an adopt a frontline worker, but we're going to do an adopt a teacher, um, for ours. Uh, let me show you because I thought I had downloaded it, but I guess I didn't because I don't see the picture. Let me um, just pull up my Canva real quick. Hold on. Um, so I created a graphic and um, I made both. But so this is the frontline worker. We're not going to do that frontline heroes. We're not going to do that one right now. We're going to focus on the teacher one. So it's our team goal is to adopt a thousand superstar teachers. My personal goal is 50. Um, don't overthink this. Don't because a lot of people are, are, can be, um, very, um, I can be very critical. I can be very like overthink stuff, but don't overthink it. It is not a fundraiser. So we are going to be posting this. I am going to, so I'm going to tell you how I'm, I'm going to do it in my story. So I'm going to go in my stories and we even have verbiage. I think Marissa, do you have that? Who typed it up? Somebody typed Ashley. Somebody, some, one of us will have the verbiage for you and we'll post it on the team pages. Um, we just want to collectively, <laughs> people are responding to me back for orders. Um, so we want to collectively um, have an adopt a teacher campaign. What we're going to do is we're going, and it's going to be six bucks. And we're just going to take a $6 donation for a hand soap. We have cellophane. Well, the way, I mean, all of us thought about how we're going to do them. Now, again, we don't have the logistics as far as um, when we collect them all. If there's a lot of us that are not local, some of us are here, some of us are there, but we want you to try to go for 50 hand soaps. What we're gonna do is, and if you don't even wanna bag them up and you wanna give them to one of your leaders to bag up, I mean, I'm down to help bag them up and put what we're gonna put in them. So I literally have cellophane bags. We're gonna drop this in a cellophane bag. We're gonna put some confetti and maybe some mints and we're gonna wrap it up. And then we're just going to collect as many. I don't even wanna think about, okay, when we finally have our in number or you have your in number, if you wanna share them and we all go together to one place, if we don't, all those logistics, I think we can figure out when we're done. Um, but collectively, we're wanting to do an adopt a teacher campaign. Um, you know, I thought, um, as I'm getting, so in her stories, these are some of the things she put, she puts a picture holding the hand soap and she's saying, how many, um, frontline heroes do you want to adopt? Right? So we would say something like how many superstar teachers do you want to adopt? $6 plus tax. Um, and again, they choose three or four. And as she's getting orders, She's um, marking a line through these and she keeps on posting in her stories, right? She's keeping on posting in her stories uh, that this is where she's at. This is her goal. This is where she's, she's at. And she's just doing that throughout. I think she, I've seen her already for about a week and a half doing that. Um, we don't particularly have an end date yet. It will obviously go into September. But we just wanted to give you guys a way to collectively as a group. Um, yes, we are getting PRV for it is great. But in the big scheme of things, um, I just really feel well, I know for our leaders that that we are going to, um, you know, try to go together to leave them wherever we're going to go and just make it about shining a little bit of light in this crazy, crazy mess of a world that we're in. Um, so. That is our PRV push for the end of August, starting into September. Um, does anybody have any questions? I love that Anna has a, a, a link already created um, that she says, 
I have a spoil a teacher link on my links. This is great. So create a link, guys, tonight and start sharing this tomorrow. And what I would even do is um, share the link that sends them directly to the hand soaps. So if they want to just purchase however many hand soaps on their own off of your link, or if they want to shop and browse while they're on there, perfect. You know what I mean? So that way you're getting people and traffic to your PWS as well. But yes, I think teachers really, really need this. Working at a school, I am not a teacher, but working hands on with teachers, I see, I mean, I'm even stressed being there. I mean, any employee at a school, basically, <coughs> just so stressed out. I will say that. And they're there because of our kids. So I think this is really great to, um, to do for teachers right now. Yeah, so um, I think Lucy and Ashley put the wording in there. Um, we'll put it on the pages. But again, um, you guys, you know, however you want to market it, um, you know, ultimately, I just think that I, I loved how she was doing it because um, she posted pictures, I guess, where they had already done one shipment um, and her and her team went to wherever it was they were going to go take them and they took a picture together. Um, just showing, you know what I'm saying, how they're giving back to the community. Um, so I just think it's a really good idea. Just, you know, and a lot of us um, that, you know, it is something that we're giving. So normally we put obviously our label on everything. So people know I'm going to create a few tags. You can use them or you can create your own. So once I put this in the cellophane, I'm going to wrap it around with some ribbon or something and i'm gonna make a tag that i'm gonna kind of just attach to it and it's gonna say something nice something like a catchy um teacher phrase you know something cute but on the back i'm gonna put my qr code to my link tree so that they can go follow me on instagram we can connect there and that's about it i'm not gonna do much else after that but put my qr code on the back so um you know just keep that in mind um you know, if you are local to us and, you know, you guys want, I know Lucy, myself and Marissa and, um, and some of the leaders that are on our leaders chat, um, you know, are going to kind of probably get together to try to take them somewhere. Um, but you are more than welcome to do whatever you want. We just wanted to, um, you know, do something that is going to increase our PRB, but at the same time, just, you know, shine a little light. So. And do and it as a team, as a group, because we're our, we are a part of Cincy and their whole motto is give more than you take. So doing things like this will really like shine your light as well. You will just feel very good within yourself by giving back this way. And I'm just going to say, like, if many of you are struggling with recruiting because i hear this all the time um all this stuff guys is stuff that you need to document like i'm just gonna i'm gonna put it out there if you're not already taking a screenshot of this while everybody is on and you're building community and taking a screenshot of that and sharing it like you're missing out when you get together and do things like this um this world is crazy people want to belong they want to be filled a part of something. And I'm going to tell you nine times out of 10 and Lucy and Marissa and myself will tell you every freaking event that we have gone to that we, I mean, you're, you're probably going to have our Facebook, Instagram blown up, right? That it is what it is. Unfriend me if you don't like it. I don't even care, but I can probably, I can guarantee you that we get one to two recruits out of every event we go to because people want community they want to belong they want to fit in they want with so much insaneness i mean this is a positive platform and that is what we exude when we come together like lucy marissa and myself are about to go friday night and um we're going to be at a leadership retreat with our superstar director and you're probably going to see our stories blown up 
But that is the type of stuff that you want to be documenting and you want to be posting because people want to be a part of something. And this is just something else that you can do that with. Yep. How would the donations work? Like if people want to donate, would they have to send you the money directly and you didn't go and purchase the hand soaps? Yep. Okay. It's basically like they're buying a hand soap. They're sending you the money. They're not mm -hmm. going to get anything in return, but you're going to go donate them somewhere or give them away somewhere. Okay. But just, uh, like, oh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I was just going to say that um, I, too, also work at a school. Um, so me and uh, Lucy both work for Richardson. So shout out to Richardson. Um, but yeah, guys, teachers right now, they're doing the damn thing. They really are. So um, I know my heart goes out to them every time I see them. I do an after school program. So I take care of their kids while they're working. And they're still working because I'm open till 6 p.m. every day. Mm. So my heart goes to them, definitely. Um, I personally am going to reach out to my PTA president, and I'm going to bring this to their attention because I know our parents would love to spoil our teachers. Nice. Nice. And you know what? Now that you said that, Vanessa, I have a connection at a daycare. And most of those people are teachers, right? So I think I'm going to reach out to her and let her know this is what I'm doing. So she can share with the parents so that they can then test their teachers. Yes. yes. That's what I was going to say, too. I have connections to churches and daycares, too. And I want to, like, I'm actually digging this. I want to learn more and can't wait. I'm super excited. I want to, like, uh, pass out flyers or something. Leave them there because my number one customer right now is... Uh, She's uh, basically like a superintendent for the CDC for a daycare where she's at. And she's always buying stuff from me to give to her employees and, you know, um, help me promote, basically. Wow. So, you know, I have a lot of places I could um, really a lot of opportunities where I could um, embrace all of this. I just need to really get there and know how to start and get to it. So I'm really super excited for this and I'm gonna really dig into this to uh, pass around too. Cause I know a lot of teachers as well. A lot of family members are teachers too. I could like also tell them about this. Yay. Yeah, well, you're basically gonna just share it on your on your personal Facebook and, and even go live if you want to, you know, mm -hmm. to share what you're doing and what's the purpose for it and how you're giving back um, and share, you know, how, I would, before y'all mentioned daycare, I was just going to say daycares need it too, because that's just one thing that's never, it closed for a little bit, but they opened right back up. And I have six kids and I hate to say this because I don't want to like keep bringing sickness into our home, but we have been sick so much and we get sick so much because I have a child in daycare. We have or other kids in a school. Can you imagine the teachers? I work for the teachers and I even sometimes have to go sub and I'm not even a teacher. I'm sitting there subbing because teachers are, there's a lot of people out um, because of this world that this stuff that's going on in the world. So just bringing light to someone's day. Um, it's amazing. I cannot wait to see how far we go as a group and a team with this. It really brings my heart joy to know that we're we're going to work on this together. Uh, yeah, Kim, we'll post it in all the pages. You are on this call and you have a, a team, if you have a downline and you know that they're not on this call to hear what we're gonna start tomorrow, make sure you maybe voice message them and let them know. Um, I know each director is gonna go live tomorrow on their page and explain the whole deal as well. But just so that they know that you're being involved and and you're you're gonna go hard on this so they could do it too. 
pass on the positivity. And I'm just saying, I mean, I love a challenge. <laughs> so I like to push like hell. So I'm going to challenge all of y'all. Um, the first person to get to 50 will get a prize from me. But you got to keep track because I need proof. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning she needs a screenshot of your, your um, when you order. Your 50 hand soaps. Yo, 50 hand soaps. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <All right>. cool. <laughs> First person. And again, we don't really have an end date for it. I mean, it's obviously going to go into September, maybe mid-September. But, you know, I think we should just push and push and push to try to get as many as we can, um, you know, through through the, through the, I mean, middle. I think that. I say we should end it October 1st because we have something coming to you guys in October that's similar. So like, from now to October, October 1st, me? let's work on this. Cool. All right, you guys. Well, I'll post that. Um, I'll post Remember, that. go create a link <laughs> for this. <laughs> And just but, remember, how would that work if they create a link? Because they're going to order and it's going to go to the person. So the person is going to have to give it to them. No, they'll, they'll create a link, but you're going to be the hostess. So they could go and shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but where is the soap going to go? The soap's got to come to you. So maybe, yeah, you just got to figure that out because yeah. I was thinking about that a while ago. Like if they're local to you, maybe they can. you can go pick them up or... If they just want to put your shipping address, I don't know. You just yeah. have to figure the logistics out of that if you want to use it. Because if they're out of towners, they could either send you, you know, the money and you place the order, or if they want to just order from your link, um, just tell them get it shipped to me. Or if they want to do it in their area and take some hand soaps to teachers over there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <sighs> They could like help you accomplish that goal. They could purchase them and like take a picture or show you that they're giving a hands up to a teacher. They're yep. helping. So that's cool too. Because it doesn't have to all come to you and you deliver the soaps. The whole point is teachers out in this world is getting a soap and getting some love. Okay, let me stop sharing. <laughs> All righty, y'all. Well, um, oh my God, I was like, I did not record this. Yes, I did. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this because it's almost, okay.